my true Yarns. I stand before you armed with truth. For too long, our country was stolen by politicians. But you elected a vision, a cure, a road to paradise. Viviro, created by our own brilliant scientists, the most effective treatment for cancer the world has ever seen, grown within our precious tobacco, modified with the purest fertilizer, Viviro is the key to rebuild paradise. But our paradise comes at a cost. This our enemies will never understand. Yara did not elect me to do what's easy, but to do what's right. And so, with renewed focus, I must extend the draft to paradise. True Yarans from across our island, chosen to produce enough Viviro to heal the world and save our country. These lucky Yarans will be chosen by random lottery. Even my own son, Diego, will be drafted tomorrow. Hey, Danny. And like a true Yaran, he Turn will Turn that serve. shit off. Presidente, me papa loved to fish. We would go out on a boat, just like this, and we would catch the fish and then release them. He would say, it's not always about your stomach, me It's about the challenge. Except when he caught a big, fat, juicy marlin. <laughs> he was too proud to let that fish go. Sick you have boys and Yara, you have boys on your sword! I have caught a very big fish today. Haven't I, Diego? Diego! No way. I have caught you, mijo. Now it's time to bring you home. I don't want this anymore, Papa. We have no choice. Let them go. They can work. Make Viviro. Truth or lies? Truth. They could be good workers. They could help rebuild paradise. But if you wanted them to live, you would have never set foot on this fucking boat. 13 years old, and Diego has such compassion for his people. These fish, we will catch and release. Liberdad will kill you fucking through your eyes! Traitors! Criminals! Puta! Mio, the difference between a true yarn and a fake yarn it can be hard to see, but it's there. A true yarn understands that loyalty to country is key to his survival, not justice, not love. Not even family. Loyalty to a vision that looks beyond themselves. Come mierda. Fake yarns love to be the outcasts. They are addicted to their selfish perversions. Chaos. Lies. Like wild dogs. But dogs can be broken. They can serve paradise. And if a dog refuses to break like Julio here, like Clara Garcia, like Libertad, then we must put them down. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. 
Papa, you've proved your point. Put Julio down. This is a difficult step to paradise, Mio. I understand. But when you achieve our vision, I promise you, there will be no more steps. I'm coming, Lita. Fine. Ben, enjoy the show. <laughs> Balance your stance. A lion finds calm. Behold a kill. Si, Papa. Mm -hmm. Fire me! Ah! Que bien, uncle. <laughs> well, now you have heard of our great victory in the West. Carlos Montero is dead. His guerrillas on the run. The tobacco fields secure. Bien. Bien. Your cousin seeks praise, Diego. If I knew his plan, I would have told him that the Montero roots run deep in the farmlands. Two hundred years. Yes, uncle, I was trying to surprise you. Diego, how many of your uncle's soldiers come from the farmlands? Eighty percent, Papa. Correct. And now... He has made a martyr of the most famous Montero. <laughs> Let's see how many of his soldiers want to rebuild paradise now. Por favor. Uh, hey. You killed my son's last bird. Run. What? Run. My true Yarens, today marks over 100 years of independence for our country. It marks a day Yara stood together with one voice and demanded freedom from its Spanish oppressors. It was a day of bloodshed, of revolution. A revolution that proclaimed to our colonizers, we are not your servants, we are not your toys, we are Yara. This revolution gave us our freedom, but it also gave us something else, something we are afraid to admit. It gave us an addiction to chaos. The word revolution became an excuse for some Yarens to act on their wildest impulses, to indulge their selfish desires, to embrace chaos. Mi papa called them fake Yarans. I am old enough to remember a Yara before 1967. Back then, I was not just the son of El Presidente. I was a child in love with the Yara mi papa had built. There was no blockade. There were no hands around our throat. The Yankees were begging to come to our island drink our rum, dance with our women. Mi papa welcomed the world with open arms. We were not only rich, we had soul. But the fake Yarens were waiting. And so I was forced to watch me papa's paradise burn. To watch me papa murdered by the Terrorista Revolution 1967. And then, for over 50 years, this revolution costs us our wealth, our pride, our hope, and left us with ghosts. I am haunted by the lessons me papa taught me as a child. The dreams he had for me, 
my family, my country. Before he was murdered, he used to tell me of a dream he had. A yara that was the envy of the world. A paradise that would be passed down for future generations. Now that I have the same dreams for my own son, Diego, I finally understand what he meant. You elected me to rebuild paradise. And now you, my true Yarans, are delivering on that vision. The draft to rebuild paradise is a great success. We are producing a cancer treatment the world is desperate for. The demand for Viviro has never been high. Yara must produce Viviro, and only Viviro. More Viviro than ever before. And if we allow these terroristas to distract us, there is only one destination. Failure, collapse, poverty, and our own destruction. So it is that Yara is in this state of emergency. But I promise you this. While these fake Yarans may spread chaos, confusion, and noise, I will be right here with you to defend Yara, to defend paradise, no matter the cost. And to those fake Yarans who love to call me tyrant, despot, Dictator, I declare this promise to all of you, much like the Magister Populi of old. Once we have achieved paradise, I will suspend my presidency, and free elections in Yara will resume once again. For a true Yaran understands the difference between progress and chaos. Loyalty over selfishness, duty over fear. And with my vision and your strength, we will defeat the terroristas. We will sacrifice in the name of progress, and we will rebuild paradise. From myself and Diego, Feliz Dia de la Independencia! What's happening? Are you inside? I'm inside. Do you see Anton? Danny? There's nobody here. Clara, I think the speech was a recording. It's a setup. Anton's soldiers are coming for you. Get out of there. You were the one who got me on that boat. You should be dead. I was the lucky one. What's your name? Danny, and you? You know who I am. You're here to kill my father. Last I checked, you were trying to get the fuck away from your papa. I shouldn't have done that. Why? Because you were the lucky one. He's a monster, Diego. He was raised that way. And you won't be? You are not going to kill me! Depends if you fire that thing again. If I run, he finds me. If he finds me, Yarens get hurt. Don't you get it? He'll never let me leave. How old are you again? Do you have family? No. You looking for one, Chamaco? You should leave Yara. He won't stop till all of you are gone. Mierda. Keep your head down. This way. Fucking dictators. Gracias. Hey, Danny. My papa is sick. That's why he's not here. You want to confess? Confess. Why are we here? 
You never even liked Tose. Why? He was an asshole. Why? He was weak. Me papa had a saying. God gives victory to the lions. Sounds religious. <laughs> Me papa love Jesus. He would always say, Jesus would make an amazing young presidente. Me Anton always remember. Jesus was both the lion and the lamb. Rule with strength, but understand suffering. You believe that? After he was murdered, your grandmother and I were left to survive alone. She would always remind me of my father's obsession with that verse. She hated it. Why? Because he had it all wrong. Be the lion and the lamb? No, she would say, Anton, there are lions and there are lambs. Rule or be ruled. A Castillo must be a lion. For Yara, is full of lambs. You don't talk about her. She was always strong, smart, powerful, but a woman in Yara. And in those days, she had the wrong skin to lead. Me, Papa, was a lamb. Jose is a lamb. You want to know why we're here? You are a lion. And we eat the fucking lambs. Miss Tilly, I'm afraid I only have a few minutes. Let's get right to it. Mm. You spend a lot of time with your father. He is a great teacher. And your mother? ¿Qué clase de tontería es esto, María? Es el estilo americano. Let's talk Viviro. A cancer treatment that extends the lives of millions around the world, except in the United States. My own father is stage four. Why do you make Americans wait? It's very American to expect what does not belong to you. You refuse diplomatic overtures, even promises to lift the blockade. I am sorry about your father. But Americans will wait, just like everyone else. Yesterday, your network, Yarovision, was hijacked by rebels. They called for the liberation of so-called outcasts from Viviro labor camps. Is Viviro produced with slave labor? Truth or lies? The truth, of course. Yara did not write the playbook. Slavery was your first corporation, 1800 to 1860. Cotton was your number one export. Grown by whom? Just a second. Slaves. Four million Americans worth $3.5 billion. The number one asset in your economy was people who look like me. What is that called? A history lesson? A head start. Replaced by a billion dollar prison industry that pays its inmates pennies. America is not alone. Correct. Children so are close. Sweatshops build our phones and Bibiro saves millions of lives. Do you think that those lives care where it comes from? Santos Espinoza executed your father in the 1967 communist revolution. You were imprisoned at the age of 13, the same age as Diego. You were self-educated? My mother was a wonderful teacher. I understand you were forced to endure 15 years of hard labor, pruning tobacco. I hear you still have the blade. When Yara becomes paradise, when I give my vibiro, to America, my methods, your questions, no one will care. We're done here? For your father. Hello?
There's something about third world prisons. They make me hard. As you can see, Mr. McKay, everything is under control. Good old shakedown. I love it. Did they do it? Who the fuck cares? <laughs> the Admiral was a lamb. She did not have the stomach needed to deal with the terroristas. I would like you to consider expanding your operations. Look, you had Are you a legend? Open the cell. With respect, the president has a strict... Open it! Did you fight with Santos Espinosa in the 67 Revolution? I drove a tank right through the doors of the Capitolio in the Battle of Esperanza. I was there when we took your grandfather. I watched them die. Why did you hate him? The only thing a Castillo has done for Yara is rape our land. And you will do the same thing now. You don't know that. I do! And if you lose in this chains, I will wrap my hands around your little throat and save Yara from another Castillo! Or you can do your country a favor and kill yourself. <laughs> we should have someone look at that mule. It's not mine. <laughs> True, Yaris. These terrorist monsters that plague us, they have no vision for Yara. They simply want chaos. They... They... Diego. See, si, Papa? They simply want chaos. It is off. You used that line already. Ah. You opened it? Si, sí, señor presidente. Hmm. It rings every hour, señor presidente. Hola, fascista. I recognize that voice. Mm, did you like my present? You killed him. What a surprise, terrorista. And the intel recovered allowed us to hijack ten shipments of your precious bebido. Let me ask you a question, Miss Garcia. When I am dead and Yara is burning, what exactly is your plan? Hold hands, sing songs around the fire? Binga! Who told you, fascista? You call me Senor Presidente! <laughs> Start the camera. I am ready to speak to my people. Papa. What? Uh, just stop. Rolling, Senor Presidente. It is with great sadness I must announce the death of a true hero of paradise, Dr. Edgar Reyes. Not only the genius mind behind Viviro, but also a personal friend. You thought I would have noticed Libertad selling my Viviro to the Yankees? You're a dead man! 
when the Garillas arrested my family in 67. Me, Papa, was dragged to this very cell. I was put in the cell next door. Thirteen. Like you, mijo. We used to talk every single night through this vent. I loved it. His voice taught me to be strong, to be a man. And then the Garillas came. Every day I'm in charge. Oh. <coughs> Death. Ah! Crime by crime, piece by piece, he paid to the Garillas. But we would still talk every single night. Until they took his tongue for his last to Yara. <coughs> Papa, stop this! Who is this girl here to you? Ah. I think we should skip a few steps, Raoul. Viva Libertad. The attack! The Hotel Paraiso! Danny was there! You... You told me that you hid in the tunnel. Danny could have killed me. Could have given me to Libertad. We have no time for lies. I've stopped running. I've listened. I've learned. I've done everything you have asked. I will be El Presidente. Let Danny go. I am not a monster, Diego. We will give them a chance. I know there are many who speak of the old revolution of 67 like a dream. That these murderers were heroes. They will destroy your future, just as they did my father's. When I look into your eyes, I see lions. Libertad. La moral. Murderers of 67. These are lies. The truth? They are all known by the same name. Terrorista. I have a vision. To rebuild paradise. But these terroristas have made sure the cost of paradise will be blood. Let this be Yara's last revolution. Let us claim victory to the lions! Stop staring. Sit. Danny, sit down. My mother had a rule. No lies at my table. And so, no lies for you. I have acute leukemia. I was diagnosed 13 years ago, but there was a doctor. He promised what we are all so desperate for, time. But it wasn't enough. Was it Diego? Papa, I don't want to hear this story. I needed insurance. But the irony was, I hated kids. But Maria, Maria, she had a way with words. And here you are, <laughs> Mio. 13 years strong. And what happened next, Diego? Hmm? The Viviro stopped working. When? Six months ago. Mi más sentida condolencias. No lies at my table! I will be gone. But he... He will see the vision through. 
Won't you? Truth or lies? Always truth. You're a fucking monster. Ah, I think that was truth. Danny, watch my little firefly dance. You know when I captured Clara? I thought I had one. But it took my son to show me what was right before my eyes. You. You are Libertad. I'm just a guerrilla. No lies at my table. You are a legend. They tell stories about you. Come on. <laughs> you are their hope. And now, you will become my hope. You're kidding, right? And you still don't get it. I told you to leave. This is your fault. You want her to leave. You will accept the rank of general in my army. You will be my hope, my legend, my Danny Rojas! Why are you so obsessed with dividing us? True Yarans, fake Yarans. It's one fucking Yara. Let us pick our own future. You're just some sick, dying old man. And you poor kid. Your brain must be so fucked up with this poison. No eyes on Anton. I'm taking out the kid. <coughs> Who are you talking to? I'm taking the shot. One no! <laughs> Get him, Danny! Juan! Clara's hit! No, 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 no! Talk to me, Danny. She's dead! Juan! Juan! Danny! Come mierdas! Senor Presidente. We must consider your safety. Libertad is surrounding the capital. We need a clear view of the sunrise from here. Si, sí, senor presidente. I want Yarns to catch the horizon at every intersection. I have several boats prepared. If we leave now, we can have you and Diego. This is the wrong design. I said Pereira, not Van Allen. Do not pollute Esperanza with my father's obsession with our deco. Your eye is impeccable, Senor Presidente. Please, you must listen. At least the boy must be- Enough! <coughs> can you see it? Why can you see it? Let's take a look at the plaza again. Something modernist, like Genere. You have killed thousands, set my city on fire, destroyed the dream of paradise. All that stands between you and the throne is me and my son. I'm no dictator. Lies. You are not Clara. Yara is burning, and you don't put out fires with free elections. He's about the same age I was when Nicarias murdered my father. I never thought that you would have to face what they put me through. I am sorry, Diego. You are my lion. Everything that I did, I did to make you stronger. You are not going to kill him. He's gonna die anyway. Last lesson, Mio. There is one thing in life that will always be true. Do you know what that is? Death. See? You will protect him from your friends, from the monsters. He'll be safe, I promise. Lies. Diego! No! Ever 
Everything's gonna be all right. Don't move, Chabaco. It's, it's okay, Danny. Don't talk. You smell that? That's the stink of fucking victory! Juan, he shot Diego in the fucking chest! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Forget the kid, Danny! Fuck you, he's bleeding out! Was he hit in the heart, Danny? Is he breathing? Lucky, uh, I don't know. There's too much blood. Don't move, Danny. We're coming up. Come on, Diego. Stay with me, Chamaco. It, it's okay. It's, it's okay, Danny. You were the lucky one. No, no. Move, Danny! Lucky, what's happening? I don't want to be the one to say this, but what do we do now? Yara needs a leader until we can hold elections. There's only one person I trust in this room. You better not say yourself. Yara is yours, Danny. Lo siento. No, it's not. I'm not a politician. Clara was. Maybe you are. The only reason we are standing here is because we didn't wait for one person to solve all our problems. When tyranny is law, revolution is order. Where are you going? Yara is yours. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> 